It's never been easier to list your Amazon product without a product ID or without a brand name. In this video today, I'm gonna to take you step-by-step step on that entire process, and then make sure you wait till the very end because I'm gonna cover why this strategy is important and who should be using this strategy. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, move on with the tutorial here. Now what you need to do is you need to log into Amazon Seller Central on your desktop. In the upper left-hand corner, go to Catalog and then select Add Products. As soon as you select that, you'll be met with a screen that looks very similar to this. Now there are two ways to approach this. The first one is to search for your product name um, if there's an existing product already out there. So if we're selling spatulas, we might type in spatulas, click enter, and then look for that identical spatula. Now, if any of these have a brand name, um, more than likely, you're not gonna be able to list your product on it. So that's why I would recommend going back and to actually select this link down here. Uh, this link is, I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon. This is gonna give you uh, the ability to actually create a brand new listing. And then if there is an existing listing that Amazon can put you on, they may automatically do that. But I've always found this to be the quickest way. So select that blue hyperlink. And then next, we'll have to click our product type. Um, this is basically just the different categories on Amazon, the whole way to the subcategories, down to the product type. Now the quickest way to go about this is to type in what your product is, the title of your product, um, into this search bar. So let's go back to the example where we were selling spatulas and want to list those. As soon as I click spatulas and I enter that, you can see that it's already found the category and all the subcategories down to the product item type. So I'll go ahead and I'll click select. After giving that a second to load, you'll be met with the first Amazon tab for editing your listing, and that is the product identity tab. Now, once we complete these required uh, fields here, we'll click continue, and then we'll go ahead and we can complete the vital info, the offer, and those more important tabs that require more content. Uh, so the first question is you're gonna be asked, do you have any variations? Are you selling this spatula in a different color or a different size? Then you want to select yes. If not, keep it as no. Next, we'll go down to the product ID. This is your UPC or your EAN. Really, it's the barcode that you've purchased from gs1.org. That's what you'd enter into here. Now, if you want to list without the GS1 barcode and without the brand name, we have to start a different process. So we're gonna go down here where it says, I don't have a product ID. Yes, it's that simple now. It used to require a, um, an exemption, but uh, Amazon's really streamlined this process to make it as easy as possible. Next is your product name or your Amazon title. I'll put a video in the cards now on how to create the most effective and optimized title, but for now, we'll just put a uh, spatula in there, and then we'll go down to the brand name. Now on Amazon, you're not allowed to just go ahead and to type in any brand name here and actually use that. Ideally, you want to go through the Amazon brand registry process, which requires a domestic trademark here in the US, and it's really a, a big bit of the process. I do recommend branding your products and using a product ID if you're private labeling, but if you're selling like short-term uh, seasonal items, you know, this is gonna be the best strategy for you. So all you have to do is go down here where it says this product does not have a brand name. Select that, and then you'll automatically see that Amazon auto-populated the brand name with generic. So whenever you go to your listing in the future, it will say brand name and then it will say generic. That just means that there really isn't a brand name for that product. After that, you can click continue, and then you can go ahead and you can fill out all of the required information. Um, one thing I want to mention is that you know, your screen may not look identical. Uh, Amazon does change these inputs based on the product type and the category of products that it is in. But really, uh, for the product identity, it should look very, very similar. So again, go through all this where everything is has a, an asterisk and is highlighted in red. Uh, those are the required fields. And then once you've completed all of those, you can go down and click Save and Finish. And within 15 minutes, 24 hours, you should have your listing up and active. All right, and the last thing I wanted to mention is, you know, who should be using this video? Again, I really think that you should private label your products. Uh, it allows you to build brand loyalty. It also enhances your listing, you know, gives you access to that A plus content. And then lastly, it protects your listing from other sellers from joining it. Now, if you actually go through this process and you list as generically without a product ID, anybody can really join your listing and you don't actually have the approval or rejection power to prevent them from joining. So it's very important to understand that by using this strategy, other sellers can now join your listing. And there's also a possibility that once you click save and finish, your listing will now be placed onto an existing listing. Um, those are really just the downfalls of doing this, but it does save you some money. All right, thank you for watching. I hope this gives you a better idea on how to actually list your product without a product ID or even a brand name.